All right, I wanted to give everyone an update on the LED strawberry grill. Uh, going with the 360 watts now. One thing I'm doing is uh, one day I'll, when I leave from work, I'll put them in the center, and then the next day when I like when I get home, I'll go ahead and move them over over the outside row so they get more even lighting. Um, the plants have responded very well. They're very large. Um, very few leaves have any brown spots or anything right now. What I found is that when the plants are young, like this replant that I had right here, they do tend to get a little brown spot and a little wrinkle, but as the new growth comes, I just kind of spread the, the leaves that are not doing so well away, and then once the new growth takes over, I'll clip them off, and uh, the plant has responded really well. Um, Whenever the plants first started producing, uh, I was having trouble pollinating, but uh, thanks to Fozzie and his Q-tips, uh, we're doing better now. And, um, you know, when the plant starts, first starts putting out flowers, you get little ones like this. Um, but as the plant matures, you start to get, see if I can find a real good one. That one's a little larger, um, but I mean, you'll get some monster flowers if I can find one. That one's not that big. Here's one. Here's a nice, good, big one. Um, but I have started to get some uh, full-size strawberries. I'm going to take you guys down below the rails here. Got a real nice, get it, real nice big one there. Um, and a few more coming down. You can see all the flowers hanging down now. Really getting excited. You know, I think they're... A, going to start producing really well pretty soon. You can see there's one back there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. A couple flowers as well. And there's some more back there also. So, try to when the fruits start to develop, I try to get to get them to hang down so that I can see them and get under there and pick them really well. Um, another thing that I did is um, I added an air stone. You can see it bubbling up in there. Just to aerate the solution, I figured that this trickle here coming out of each of the tubes um, was probably not enough to aerate the solution well, so I just added that in. Um, actually, I'm going to check my pH right now, I've been adjusting it, it's been a little low, uh, Andy over at GH recommended that I try to hit a 5.8, come on, focus in, 5.9 it looks like, that may adjust a little bit as the solution kind of filters around, or I may have to add a little acid in, 5.9, and go ahead and check the pH, uh, check the EC. Aiming for, you know, 1.3, 1.5. Usually when I stick the meter in, it starts a little high and then gradually kind of climbs down, but 1.54. I may go ahead and add a little fresh water just to bring it down a tad, uh, but overall pretty happy with it. I also added some uh, flora nectar um, sweetener and uh, using the one two three ratio that Andy recommended of the of the bloom uh, of the flora series three part. Uh, just show you all some more of the flowers. They're pretty much everywhere. Uh, Every day when I come home, I just go start on one row and go down with a Q-tip and find every flower I can and pollinate it. So uh, that's about all I got. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> I want to show you guys. I got uh, my Ro uh, Roma tomatoes that are going to be an LED grow just sprouting. Let's see if I can get the light to turn on. They're on an odd light schedule because I'm trying to coincide with the heat uh, and the location they're going to be growing. Try to get midday to be, you know, 85 degrees. So 
but they're nice and sprouted and only one didn't germinate so as soon as they get their second leaves I'll add some nutrients to the water this floods about four four times a day um, so I'm excited about this growth too that's all I got for you guys I uh, hope you enjoyed the video